camping has been a part of Call of Duty Zombies for over 16 years, but which five weapons are the best for doing this? Let's take a look. Hi guys and welcome back to another top 5 zombie video and today we're going to be ranking the top 5 best camping weapons from World at War, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 zombies. As always guys if you enjoy please be sure to like and subscribe to show your support and just two things to clarify quickly and the first one is we're going to be excluding all wonder weapons on this list and also I'm going to be taking into account their packer punch versions as well as the their non packer punch versions. So with that said, let's move on to the list. Starting off my list at the number five spot, I have gone for the KSG, uh, packer punch version of course, called the Mist Maker. Now this weapon is exclusive to Origins and I have praised it in the past for being such a strong, powerful weapon, which is exactly what it is. So now the thing is with Origins, it's not really a camping map. Um, because you know normally you're running around and you're going to get parts for the staff and you know you're running away from the panzer etc but if you do decide to camp in one of the crazy places like you see in, in this clip the ksg is basically just like a, a massive huge um, force field against the zombies because you can stand in a corner uh, like this and you've got a deadly one shot one kill shotgun in your hands when it's pack a punch it's got 24 shells per magazine with 84 in the reserve ammo so you get like 100 and what 108 shots i think top of my head something like that so you know you can just sit here just just popping off the zombies one by one and with it being a single slug and the range is increased so it's incredibly reliable for one shot one kill especially with double tap two and yeah it's very easy just to keep on top of the zombies um you know you will literally have no problem at all as long as you've got ammo in it uh, you haven't really got an excuse um, not to you know do well when camping with the ksg but like i said because it's number five um i can't put it i can't put it any higher because the map which it's on isn't really a camping map um, because obviously when the panzer jumps in uh, then you know you're gonna have to start moving around so yeah KSG a very good a very good weapon um, very strong in a lot of areas lots of ammo deadly one shot one kill and excellent for camping so it comes in at my number five spot moving up one space to our number four spot we have the monstrous mg42 from world at war now the mg42 or the pack punch version the barracuda is just an absolute machine um by far the best lmg on world at war you know it's capable of holding up to 750 rounds in the reserve ammo and 125 per magazine so you're looking at over 800 shots of absolute carnage and yeah i mean there is literally in terms of camping this weapon is just it's incredible um you know the only downside to the mg42 is the weight so you know you do move at, at a slower at a slower like uh, speed but because obviously camping you don't move around that is just completely ignored and we can just focus on the positive so a fast rate of fire high damage very quick reload for uh, an nmg a lot faster than the browning um great hatch uh, multiplier and tons of ammo as well to go with it so yeah it's just the perfect weapon really for camping on on world at war now because it's such a fast rate of fire i do find that the ammo gets drained quite quickly um, which is why it's at number four you can see in this clip i had max ammo um, when i started and i'm now only on 108 left in the reserve ammo and i've only gone through one round so yeah you do have to rely on max ammo is quite a lot if you're using this gun um but i mean apart from that the mg42 a pure just powerhouse of a weapon and when you're playing on dairies you know, sitting on the catwalk or in this spot down here just whip out the mg42 and um yeah you are just gonna shred through zombies like a hot knife through butter so yeah i do love i do love using this weapon um tons of ammo lovely fire rate great hedge uh, hedgehog multiplayer um, also decent um, iron sights as well. I've got to mention that I do quite like the iron sights on this gun too. So yeah, MG42. I'm going to put it put it in at the number four spot. Up at the bronze place today, guys. At the number three spot, we have the AN94, or the Packer Punch version, the actuated neutralizer. Um, now this weapon has been, I think, 
number one in about three of my previous videos um so yeah i have nothing but praise for this gun and it is just an all-rounder you can train with it you can camp with it you can deal enormous amounts of damage with it and really that that is what makes this gun so special it's very very versatile and when you pack a bunch of you get 50 rounds per magazine with 600 in the reserve ammo which is just enormous for an assault rifle and add that to the fact it's got a very high damage um, a lovely headshot multiplier you can just tear through zombies and, and conserve your ammo very very easily and another nice thing about, about the AR-94 is it's a war weapon of course on buried and die rise um, so you can just keep buying ammo for it which gives it you know that that little edge over some uh, some other weapons and you also obviously pack a punch it and get a, a large variety um, of attachments so you can see here i've got the MMS, mms sight but you can also get a reflex sight a target finder um just a, a grip like just have the iron sights with grips so lots of different combinations there uh, to suit your own sort of uh, playing style but yeah no this weapon is just incredible in in so many different ways and camping with it is just a breeze you know it's walking in the park sitting either on the rooftop on die rise or by juggernaut got buried or even at this place here um in the buddha room i like to camp here now and then with this gun so yeah lots of different areas where you can utilize the a the an94 for camping and yeah i just think it's a uh, an absolutely phenomenal weapon and very very good for training or camping so yeah an94 you are coming in at my number three spot just missing out at the number one spot today guys we have the svu or the pack punch version called the shadowy veil utilizer now this is of course a sniper rifle from black ops 2 and i have two words for you headshot machine uh the headshot multiplier on this weapon is just ridiculous i think it's like times six or something like that i'd have to double check it but it just goes through the roof when you aim for the head with this weapon even without pack a punch and without double tap two the headshot multiplier on this is just it's just absolutely ridiculous so yeah if you do actually get double tap two and pack a punch the svu and i think it's one shot kill to the head up until around 36 um so yeah you can just breeze through the rounds breeze through the 20s and most of the 30s with this weapon as long as you're accurate and you actually do get them in the head um, you will have no problem at all getting to the mid 30s and it's available off the wall on diarise and buried for a very generous 1000 points um which is also a nice little touch um but yeah i mean you can just sit in a room or at the back of a hallway like in this clip by buried uh, by juggernaut on buried you can just sit here aim down sights let the zombies run around the corner and they just get you know decapitated uh, instantly so yeah just in terms of camping it's just phenomenal it really really is as long as you're accurate and you do get them in the head um yeah you can just i mean look i'm barely even trying in this clip i'm just sort of you know ch chilling out aiming down sights just pinging headshots for fun um and the collateral damage as well is also insane you can take out like three zombies with one bullet if they're lined up so yeah the svu or the shadowy veil utilizer um it's just perfect really no nothing bad to say about it in terms of camping but it's got to come in it's, it's got to come in at the number two spot because coming in at the number one spot we have the meat grinder also known as the pack a punch death machine from mob of the dead on black ops 2 now this weapon is exclusive to mob of the dead um and <laughs> i mean where do we start with it so first of all you get 1100 shots in total with this weapon you get 550 in the reserve ammo and then you get 550 in the uh, magazine so the minimum amount of times you can reload with this weapon is once so you sort of feel as if you've got like limited ammo when you're using it because you very rarely reload with it now obviously it's very very heavy um even after you pack a punch it you do move quicker with it but it, you still move quite slow um so obviously in terms of moving around with it it's not very good at all but obviously this is a camping list uh, which is why this weapon comes in at number one because you can just stand still in a corner or you know in a room or you know wherever um just hold down the left trigger keep the barrel spinning and then just you know shoot when you need to and it feels like you've got a limited ammo of just you know 550 shells or uh, bullets sorry i should say um of just pure 
carnage just a massive huge lead cannon uh and yeah i mean it's it's literally designed to be camped with um you know mob of the dead is not really a camping map um to be fair but if you do decide to camp the best place is probably here at the docks you know you've got you've got the trap behind you to help to help you out but you could just stand here and um yeah, you literally will not go far wrong uh, with the death machine or the meat grinder so yeah i mean I, I don't think there's any real competition um i don't think there's any other weapon out there which you could say is better for camping than a massive huge machine with 1100 bullets uh, um so yeah the meat grinder you are going in at my number one spot now we do have one weapon which has made the honorable mentions list and that is the ppsh or the reaper from Durries on World at War. Now this was so close to making my number five spot and I was gonna put the Kershi on the honorable mentions list, but I was tossing and turning. I was I couldn't decide which which one to put where, but in the end, I do think the KSG is just that extra bit better because the, the PPSH is, while having a load of ammo, really fast fire rate, um, the damage is quite bad on it. So it's very similar to the Barracuda in terms of ammo capacity, um and rate of fire but the damage is a lot better on the barracuda in comparison to the reaper but saying that the ppsh you know it's got just a, a ridiculously high ammo count for an smg um you get i think it's 100 uh is it, oh yeah when it's pack punch 115 per magazine with i think it's 750 in the reserve ammo um so before it's pack a punch it has 71 rounds per magazine um so you get an extra sort of 40 odd shots when you pack a punch it into the reaper but again like the barracuda because the rate of fire is so is so high you do burn through ammo um, and add that to the fact that the damage isn't great on it in comparison to the other weapons um, I, I just couldn't justify putting it in at the number five spot but yeah i do love the ppsh it's lightweight so it's very good for training too although you don't get any, any points of that in this video so yeah it's still an excellent weapon for camping uh, on the catwalk and on dairies is you know the best the best place for it lots of memories with this weapon but i'm not going to let the nostalgia beat me and i'm only going to put it in on the honorable mentions list well guys that concludes my video let me know what you thought about my list in the comment section down below also if you enjoyed please be sure to like and subscribe to show your support and also i have made an entire playlist full of different top five zombie videos so if you enjoyed please make sure that you check them out as well but most importantly thank you for watching and hopefully i will catch you soon on my next video goodbye